What's got into you, Dan? They can never come around and see us no more. Well, now, I've been busy fixing up my place. I'm a thinking of selling that there land of mine that joins Nella's land. Oh, come on. Who, you on with me. You'd want to buy that old pasture. Well, I had an offer. And if I sell, I aim to buy some new furniture. Sounds like you was aiming to get hitched. Maybe I be. But for I'll get out, who to? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. To get your consent. Consent? You mean you're hankering to marry Violet? No, it's Nelly I got my heart saw on. Uh, of course, if you're getting it, why? Now hold your horses, Van Tucker. Because I was taking off my feet for a minute. I always forget Nelly's grown up to be 18. And the purtiest gal in these here parts. I'd protect her to my last dying breath. I watch over her as careful as I watch over a new calf in the barnyard. <laughs> I take care of her good, Frank. Now, you don't have to tell me all that, Dan. There's no one I'd rather have for a son law than you, Dan. You're a man, every inch of you, and one of God's noblemen. Them's fine words for you to say, Frank. And I mean every one of them. And I can speak to Nelly? You sure can. And what's more, she'll say yes. I'm a hoping she will. Why wouldn't she get hitched to you? Ain't she knowed you all her life? And I've been loving her all my life, with all my heart and soul and every breath of me. But gals are sometimes funny, Frank. They don't always see eye to eye with a man. Now don't get faint-hearted, Dan. Just speak your mind to her and she'll take it. Okay, I'm starting. Manny! Oh, Manny! Come in here this minute! You ain't gonna tell Mrs. Beard straight off, be ya? Sure, be. She'll be pleased, Dan. She's always liked you a heap. What's up, Pa? Well, then, Dan's got something to tell you. You say for me, Frank. I was just one of our own women folk. Well, hurry up and tell me. I ain't got all day. Got cornbread in the oven. Well, it's. I, I can. You say it for me. Well, go ahead and tell me. I never bet nobody. I reckon it'll surprise you as much as it did me, Ma. Well, for the land of ocean, what be it? Well, it's... Oh, well, hello there, Nelly. I'm mighty glad you came in when you did. Well, howdy, Dan. I ain't seen you quite a spell. You came in just in time, Nelly, because Dan's got something to tell you. And I am waiting to hear myself. What is it, Dan? Uh... Oh, shucks and double shucks. I can't say it. Oh, come on, boy. Spit it out. You say it for me. Please, Frank, I, I get all mixed up. <laughs> well, all right. It seems like you're so chicken-hearted. Well, Minnie, it's this way. Dan Tucker is aiming to marry our little Nelly. Oh, no! <laughs> shucks, Nelly. You look as though you just heard someone was dead. Oh, I'm powerful sorry, Dan. What be you sorry about? Cause I can't marry Dan. What? I just I can. Well, can you can? Pappy, please don't make me say no more. I just can. That's all there is to it. Well, by the eternal, I'll have a reason and a good one too. Come on, gal, speak up. Or by the thunder. Hold on there, Frank. <clears throat> this here's between me and Nelly. If she don't want me, well, she just don't want me. That's all. Well, how come he don't want to marry Dan? Why, he's the squarest, finest, hardworkingest, bestest man in these here parts. Thanks for them kind words, Mrs. Beard. Come on, gal, reason. And good one, too. Well, I, I like Dan, but just as a friend. And well, I, I love somebody else. And what's more, I'm going to marry him. Oh, <laughs> what I tell you? <laughs> Who is this somebody else? Well, I might as well tell you and get it over with. It's Mr. Sheridan Douglas of New York! You mean that city slicker has been prowling around folks like him? He ain't no city slicker. He's a fine gentleman. Then go to your gentleman. No daughter might get to find me and stand in my room. There's the door, now go! Pa, oh, you ain't gonna try out your own flesh and blood. <laughs> She'd have daughter of mine if she was against my will. Now go! Never darken my doorstep again. Oh, Pappy, say it ain't so! <laughs> Frank, you're wrong. Mighty wrong. You've always been a stern man, but you mustn't be a cruel one. And you will be cruel if you turn out that defenseless gal. <laughs> and little gal, rough hearts like mine are just as easy broke as them that beats under fine clothes. You may find a richer man, a smarter man, but you won't find a man in this wide, wide world who loves you truer and finer and nobler than Dan Tucker. Well, oh, I know that ain't half good enough for you. Oh, Dan, you have a noble, noble soul. <laughs> I, 
I hope you'll be happy with this, Mr. Douglas. And if he don't treat you right, he'll have to answer to Dan Tucker. We'll always be your friend. Now you can go! Well, Pappy, where will she go? That's no concern of mine. Where is my concern? I ain't going to have no sister-in-law of mine turn out of doors. Sister-in-law? Well, not yet. She's going to be. You'll never call me, Pappy. Well, <laughs> I can live without that. <laughs> so, Mr. Dograss, you know what's good for you? You'll keep out of this. Too late, Mr. Beard. I'm in it with both feet. Come on, Nanny Gal. You can go over to my house. My mom will take care of you. <laughs> All right, you little kid. There's going to be some shoes. Not so fast, Pappy. I don't want to marry you. See you. Come on, Nanny Gal. Be going. <laughs> Farewell, my old home. Farewell. And I'll screw you up, Ray Beard. Tell it to Sweeney. <laughs> Frank, it was too hasty. Remember, no matter how dark and stormy the night, Nellie is still your daughter and the gal I love. Well, maybe I was too hasty, but I see my duty and I done it. My baby gal, gone from her old home, all oh, the heart is torn asunder. Oh my God, my cornbread, it'll burn up. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I'll get the deed tomorrow. Tomorrow will be too late. They're on our trail, I tell you. The old sheriff in town today was eyeing you the eye of a hawk. I'm frightened, Sheridan. Nonsense. He was only admiring your extreme beauty. <laughs> I am in no mood for idle jesting. I tell you, you're a bee one. Rubbish! We are here under a school name, and these rude sheriffs don't scare me. Shh! It's the old hag again. If she's hurt us, we're lost. Well, Grandmother, are you knitting your shroud? <laughs> I always hear when folks don't want me to. <laughs> Did you hear that, Sheridan? I'm terrified! Steady, old girl. What's come over you? You, Claire Bellworth, the daring adventures. Come, come, my proud beauty, and pull yourself together. There. I'll be all right. I'll see this thing through. But this is the last time. Might I suggest that you take a walk? If Nellie comes in, I can talk better if we're alone. You mean you can make love better? Would you keep that green-eyed monster out of your system? You know I only have eyes for you. Let us see you that I despise her! Very well, my fine gentleman. I'll do as you dictate. But don't try and trouble across me, because you know what the fury of woman's scorn can be. Moreover, I know enough to send you to prison for life. Moreover, don't forget, if I go, you go too. Oh. Fool that I am for loving you, knowing your black heart and cruel mind. Woe is me! Ha ha ha, what a fool you are indeed, my silly Clarabelle Worth. There was a time when you were worth a great deal to me, but now that worth is no longer apparent. Now, if by some hook or crook I can only get my hands on the deed and dispose of it to the mining company, you'll never set eyes on me again, my poor trusting Clarabelle. Oh, good day to you, my good woman. You're right. I am a good woman. But I don't think I knew you, stranger. Who might you be? I rejoice in the name of Sharon Douglas. Sharon Douglas. You! You seem startled. Uh, amazed. I guess I assure you that my mission is a friendly one. Out of my sight, snake, viper! What is the meaning of this unseemly outburst? Have I done something to offend your finer nature? It was because of you, you skunk! Just one moment, my good woman. I assure you that I bear no resemblance, both in appearance and order. That most of the fragrance <laughs> of woodland animals. Ah, uh, don't try your fancy city talk on many beer. I won't be took as my poor Nelly was. Then you're Nelly's mother? Yes, I was. Till the patent drove her up because of you. Then Nelly's gone? Yes, my 